Yeah. Okay. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? How are you? Good I'm pretty good. Yeah. I'm oh, here oh, with no. an interesting person I met uh, by by luck, I, I guess, yesterday. So I I had to interview him yeah. today for you guys. <laughs> so tell us about yourself first. Yeah. Who are you? <laughs> so uh, my name is Tiran. Um, I um, I like I graduated university a year ago and decided to um, save up some money uh, afterwards and go on this uh, crazy bike trip. Um, I basically decided to fly my bike um, from London to a place called Tromso in northern Norway and um, then cycle from there to Azerbaijan and like interview locals along the way. Um, so that's like the trip. And for me, I'm... You want to know a bit about my past or you want to know yeah. just about... Okay, so um, I went... Yeah, I went to university in a place called Bristol. Don't know if you. Mm -hmm. It's uh, like okay. Southwest England, mm -hmm. um, and I studied zoology. Um, I am an only child, <laughs> um, All right. and yeah, I started this trip with my girlfriend, who's now back at university. Um, uh, so we were traveling for two months together, and then I oh, like. Kept... It must be hard for your parents, as you are only. Child yeah, like I'm all they've to... got. So like, <laughs> it's like they, they've they've invested all of their genes wow. in me. Oh yeah. So um, yeah, I think it's uh, they do worry a lot. Um, yeah, I can imagine. But I, I'm lucky in that, like, so my dad used to be a war correspondent. Um, what is what is a war? Uh, a war journalist. So he used oh. to go to like Afghanistan and Iraq. So he, wow. so like me cycling through Poland is for him is like fine. Um, and my mum, uh, she actually did a cycle tour when she was younger. So oh okay yeah so she's so there's like, some background yeah and, and so she's like I mean she did it in like. Um, maybe more Western Europe, but at least she knows that it's like not, at least it means she doesn't worry quite as much because she's like experienced yeah. something similar. Um, yeah, but I do have to call them regularly, my, especially my mum. Okay. It's my mum's birthday today, so I'm not there to celebrate with her, but um, I guess I'll have to say happy birthday on here. Yeah. So how the idea came to you, like, uh... Do you, do you have some experience of, on the biking? Do I have experience yeah, on the like, like, what, how did this question. happen? Um, uh, so, the idea, I, I decided ages ago that I uh, wanted to like, um, travel the world and like, uh, like find a way of talk, speaking to locals and like getting their views across because mm. I've seen so many travel blogs online and they're, they're all the perspective of the traveler. Oh. So I thought it would be cool to, um, get the perspective of people who live in the places that I visit mm. so I knew I wanted to do that and then I was thinking like well I mean what, like what's the best way to get to some of like the more obscure parts of the world um, like because bus trains don't go everywhere buses you know, there's timetables and it's difficult to like sometimes it's difficult to work out right. how to get somewhere mm -hmm. um, so I was thinking like, well, I could sail. Sailing was one of my first uh, first option. Again, I had no experience sailing, and then and then I was like, well, that's probably too dangerous. So maybe walking or something, walking. and then too slow. Um, so then I decided on cycling um, because you can cover like pretty good ground on a bike. Right. Um, and I had no biking experience at all. I like that. I actually had quite a bad bike accident when I was young um, and I, I like knocked these two teeth out oh. um, and then I and it took like eight years of <laughs> surgery to wow. fix um, so I'd like that really put me off cycling um, so I figured I'd like jump in at the deep end uh, you know that phrase no okay <laughs> jump in at the deep end means like uh, That's what start, you start <laughs> yeah um, it start at like a really difficult stage I guess oh, like, start, like don't have any practice just like Go okay. like uh, so. I decided to like dive in and um, just go for it. Learn on the learn how to cycle on the way. on the go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Learn how to repair the bike. I had a couple cool. of uh, lessons with a neighbor on like how to change brake pads and stuff. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, mostly I've been learning how to cycle tour while cycle touring. All right. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Like most of the people, maybe you can think of like. Just a bike, like m many people maybe cycle when they were child, yeah. like or something. But imagine crossing 
like a whole continent. <laughs> yeah, past. right. On a bike. I mean, how how is this possible for just the normal bike? Did, is there some kind of special equipment you need to do for your bike, or you need um, to have? Or you basically need you need a bike with two wheels and yeah. a lot of like determination. <laughs> That's <laughs> yeah. basically it. Uh, That's it. You you can get like um, my my bike I got from my girlfriend's brother, so mm -hmm. I got it for free. So you, and it's a really like it's not a good quality bike, but it's a mountain bike, so it's strong mm -hmm. um, and sturdy. And the benefit of that is like. I meet some people who spend two grand on a bike or a grand, one thousand euros on a yeah, bike, yeah, yeah. and then like they somehow when they go shopping they have to like leave it outside. Oh. And if that was me, I would be like, oh my god. Yeah. So if my bike gets stolen, <laughs> it's okay. I'm emotionally yeah. attached to it, but I can just buy a similarly cheap yeah, yeah, yeah. one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you just like you don't need to be a professional. You don't need to have professional equipment. Um, you just need to, the one thing I would say, like mm. the biggest lesson that uh, I learned about cycle touring from this is like, if you're going to do what I did with no experience, you need to allow like three or four weeks mm. of like help. You, you need to oh. <laughs> understand that like, especially like starting in Northern Norway, um, it was, uh, when I say hell, I enjoyed it in a way, yeah. but I, it was like super tiring. super tiring, like kind of like broke me and my girlfriend emotionally. Like we were mm. just like <laughs> almost in tears some days. Well, wow. actually were in tears some days because it was just so hard. Um, so like what, your fitness needs to like catch up with what you're doing. Mm. And in that time frame, it's, it's pretty tough. Pretty but tough. Mm. as long as you just like keep in mind that as bad as it is now, like that's not how it's going to be the whole time. Mm -hmm. Then you can like will yourself to keep going, and eventually you will get fitter. Um, you'll start learning because even things like um, learning how to find like ways of interacting with locals, like mm -hmm. meeting. Because we were we were finding it quite lonely in northern Norway. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> Meeting tons of cyclists today. We found another one who's now taking us on a secret trail because it's a very spot. There's not many people there, um, and especially the, the during the land you are trying to pass. Yeah, maybe there is not. It's not like big city. Yeah, right? exactly. It's, it's most, cities, mostly yeah. countryside. So we're yeah. like, oh, and we, for the first three weeks we weren't meeting people, um, and we were like, oh, this is even though we're together, it's kind of lonely in a way. Um, so, but as we kept going, we were like, okay, but you. you you can like go up and knock on people's doors and you can like talk to people at petrol stations and stuff and like um, so like learning there's so much to learn on the go that yeah. you need to give yourself a lot of time to learn it oh, wow. yeah so that's okay. my main lesson <laughs> wow, that's a great lesson i think for many people yeah uh, i think i answered a different question to what you asked but yeah. oh, it's okay it's okay feel free yeah, no, so okay. like um how many like so you start in Norway, right? Yeah. Not in Norway. And but what's like country you go to? Like how many? Um, this Turkey will be my tenth. It is my tenth, tenth country. Okay. Um, so I went through uh, Norway, Sweden, Denmark, Germany, Poland, Ukraine, Moldova, strange place, um, Romania, Bulgaria, and and now Turkey. And then okay. I'll be going to Georgia, Armenia, and Azerbaijan next. Okay. But like. In uh, Sweden, uh -huh. I, I don't wouldn't really count. I wouldn't really say I cycled through Sweden because okay. I took a train through most of it. Uh, okay. um, but yeah, that's those are the countries. Okay, so um, you told me before about uh, crazy stuff happened when you were cycling. Yeah. So maybe can you share? Yeah. Um, so mostly, uh, I have had like really positive experiences. So I don't. I, I I know that like the few negative experiences I have, they're not like. They don't represent the whole of, the whole trip. The whole yeah, trip, yeah. But they obviously like stick in my mind a lot. So mm. I guess the the craziest uh, experience would be when um, I was in the middle of the Moldovan countryside, and I met these uh, two guys who turned out to be part of the um, the Moldovan mafia. <laughs> so uh, and they tried to mug me and, oh, wow. and take my money and. Uh, I will freak out, especially yeah. uh, traveling long. Yeah, right. Uh, so I was like, um, I, I guess, what being like 
I guess I have a bit of my dad in me or something, because like while it was happening, I, I was I was like, oh, this is kind of exciting. <laughs> um, like this will be a good story to tell. Um, but yeah, there was like it, it didn't escalate to the point where I really felt like I was in danger. Like if one of them had pulled out a knife or a gun, I would have like, okay, here's here's my money. But um, it, I guess, because like there were cars going past from time to time. Nobody stopped. Nobody. No one stopped. But obviously, if they like attacked me, I'm sure someone would have stopped. Okay. Um, so they were like, yeah, they were just with. They were trying to convince me basically that I had to give them all this stuff, all my money, and and then when I was like trying to leave, they started like grabbing me. Okay. Um, and so there was no knives, nothing. No knives. No, they, well, I, talking I, yeah, and, talking, uh, and so that one of them like cut, like shouted at me a little bit. Okay. Um, and yeah, so I decided like, I, I, especially when they started like grabbing me, I was like, okay, I've had enough of this. I've like, I really have to go. <laughs> so I like jumped on my bike, and my bike is so heavy that like. They kind of had to like choose between like getting run over um, and, and like s standing aside. Yeah. yeah. Um, so they stepped aside as like I, as like I sh shot off uh, as quickly as I could. And then the weirdest thing was, as I left, um, one of them like waved goodbye to me, um, and I was really confused and like in like a weird place. So I waved back, and it was yeah, really strange exchange. But there's also a part of me that's like, maybe they were bluffing, maybe they were just like random thugs who just wanted to try and like take, I don't know. Mm. But I live, I live to cycle another day, <laughs> so. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> so what the, what other the sketches? Oh, you know, what, story. Okay, so are you talking about the, the one in the forest? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so this other, one other uh, experience I had, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say, uh, I didn't actually, f I wouldn't count it as a negative experience because like I look back on it quite fondly and I was um, but I yeah I came <laughs> I crossed the border into Turkey and like maybe an hour later I could hear like this m music mm. really strange sound sounding music coming mm. from uh, coming from a forest <laughs> which is like oh, uh, alarm bells should have <laughs> should have been going then I should have been like that's weird I won't have, have you heard Cardin's music like the one with like uh, I don't know really interesting really fascinating Maybe it's like a similar. I don't know. Is it what instrument is it? The, is yeah, it yeah, 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 yeah. And it's very like uh, high pitch. Yeah. So yeah. they. This was. Uh, it was on something though called a zurna. Do you know? What I mean? mm. Like the the. It's like a clarinet, but like a Turkish one, I guess. I, I think. Yeah, I got one. Um, yeah. And had, there was like a drum beat, and I was I was all excited because new country, and I could meet. I was wanted to meet new, new people <laughs> from the country. Meet yeah. random people. <laughs> so I like I came off the road yeah. and like rested my bike against a tree. Yeah. Because uh, I could see like something happening in the woods up ahead of me, mm -hmm. um, and like I got closer and I came to this like clearing, and there was a full table of like food laid out, oh, wow. like looked like a dining room table in the middle of a forest, and a load of really really drunk people like dancing and like maybe oh. like maybe like fifteen or eighteen guys, oh. um, like doing some traditional folk dance and playing this mm. music, mm. and they saw me. And like called me over, and then they like oh, cool. <laughs> kind of they kind of like forced me into this chair. Really? Um, I kept being like, no, I have to go, um, and I kept like trying to get up, and they'd like push me back down into the chair. Uh. Um, and then uh, I was a little nervous around them because they were all like really, really drunk, drunk, and I definitely got like some unsettling. Like mm. I, you can't really explain it. Like we were yeah, talking yeah, earlier. Yeah. I got, I got what I mean. Yeah, like I think, I think they were trying to be like in, so inviting, but because they were drunk, so yeah, right. You, you felt yeah, that, exactly. Yeah. And I'm sure, like I am sure, nothing would have happened. But there yeah. was something that was like I just, I would like, I was feeling yeah, a bit yeah, uncomfortable. Yeah, I'd like to leave, but they really weren't letting me leave. <laughs> like, uh, for like, I, I, I must have tried to leave like eight times or something wow. and then eventually I was they, they like I kind of when they grabbed me again I like <laughs> pushed them off and was just like sorry I have to go uh, and again I live to cycle another day <laughs> so great yeah so like speaking of bad experiences yeah. what about like really remarkable experience that happened to you that really you remember until this day so um, I think they're the, the, like easily the best thing about doing a bike trip and this yeah. is why I think 
a, this is like the main selling point I'd say to people is mm -hmm. why you should do it. Mm -hmm. Is the people you meet, like the the like insanely kind people that you meet along the way. Mm -hmm. um, so the kindness from strangers is definitely the main thing I uh, that sticks in my mind. So for example, like uh, the. In Norway, um, me and my girlfriend, like, you know, I told you we had to learn how to socialize. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. decided we were just going to start knocking on people's doors and, like, asking to, like, stay with them, basically. Really? Yeah. And just the, random places? Just random places. Oh, wow. we, we'd, we'd say, like, can we camp in your garden um, oh. or something? Oh. And, like, nine times out of ten, they'd just say, we have a spare room or wow. something, so you can stay there. So it's currently um, half three, I think, in the morning. And um, yeah, tonight we are staying in this uh, cabin. Uh, we're kind of in the middle of nowhere. This cabin is about 200 years old, so you have people who've uh, carved their names into the walls here. And the first people we did that with, um, a guy, there was a, a couple called Sven and Berit, who we're still in touch with now. Um, and they ended up uh, inviting us like for three nights or something to stay with them, like feeding us, showing us around the area. They sent us Christmas presents when we got home. Um, they uh, they all, they were still always checking up on us. They we met them again in um, Oslo, like a, like a week later. And then after that, their daughter called us and invited us. To a, to a surprise joint 50th birthday for them. Oh, wow, so so we, like, yeah, it's really random. But we've, yeah, it's just like. So this is a really good thing that you you made really good good friends. Yeah, exactly. And people that like I'm still mess. Loads of people who I'm still messaging. Um, mm -hmm. But then obviously there's like um, that. That's not really a country specific thing. Um, some of the like the country specific things that stick in my mind is something called All Saints Day in um, in Poland. Mm -hmm. uh, that's there. It's like a it's Day of the Dead. Have you heard it about it and stuff? No. So it's like cello, it, It's like a, a, a festival, sort of a, a holiday where they like commemorate the dead, um, okay. and they do it by lighting like thousands of candles and putting them in graveyards. Um, and so the graveyards are like it like light displays because they're like the candles are different colours, mm -hmm. and so. You go past a, a graveyard and it looks like it's on fire or something. It's a really amazing to see. Um, and so while I was like cycling through the countryside, I could see like at night um, on the hillsides, like around all these like churchyards which were lit up and everything else is dark. Um, it's really really pretty. Um, so that as like a that, and, it, and it felt really magical, like when you're when it's completely silent and then you cycle past all these candles in the middle of nowhere, like and some like dots of light. Yeah, exactly. Out. It's like uh, that was really special. Um, there's tons, like, but I can't list them yeah, all yeah, now because yeah, yeah. yeah, for sure, for sure. There's there's. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, um, yeah, they're memories I'm gonna have until I die, really. Yeah, so, wow. which hopefully won't be soon. <laughs> so, <laughs> Under a few days to, to cycle. Yeah. <laughs> one of the reasons my girlfriend came with me, um, uh, well, yeah, I, I, I think one of the reasons she agreed to come with me mm. um, was because it was a way of like getting me settled in this kind of traveling. Because I know mm. that she she likes to travel like quite comfortably. Mm -hmm. um, but I think she knew that if uh, I'd started alone, I probably would have gone home um, quite early on because it, I, I, we, I did the hard part with my girlfriend. So I, I can't, is much more easier yeah, than you, I when can't you were imagine. Alone. I can't imagine how hard it would have been by myself if I'd been by myself. Um, so yeah, I, I haven't done the whole thing solo, and I'm very grateful for that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wow. That's a that's a pretty uh, inspiring story, I can say. Like, uh, thank so. you so much. No for worries. I hope. Do you want to add anything like before we end this? Um. Yeah. Let me think. Um. 
I think uh, I think I said already it's something like uh, everyone should consider doing. Um, doing it as an experience. Of yeah, as an experience in your yeah. life. You don't need that much money to do it. Like yeah. obviously, obviously you need some savings, but yeah. like um, you have couch surfing. That's uh, a really good website to use. And knocking then, doors. Knocking on doors. <laughs> on to be honest, people. I've like since I've been by myself, I haven't done that very much. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you also have uh, warm showers, which is like couch surfing, but just for cyclists. I heard about that. Yeah, before. and that's yeah, yeah, yeah. that's really good as well. Yeah. Um, so there's loads of ways like you do to save money on accommodation mm -hmm. and food as well when you stay with people. Mm -hmm. So I think people like people like see other people going on bike tours and especially like like I was saying earlier, you go on forums and stuff mm -hmm. and people are telling you, Oh, you need like this gear, this much experience. Like, you're just trying to discourage people from Yeah, doing well I found that like half the people who say that have like the, mm -hmm. the people who were most discouraging to me were like the really keen cyclists, but the ones who'd never been on a bike tour, like the ones who go out on like a weekend cycle ride and no, no. have all the gear and stuff, but have never actually been on a tour. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I found like they, those guys were quite discouraging. Um, and on a lot of these like forums with professionals and stuff, mm -hmm. it can be like intimidating, especially because I, I don't know even know the words that you're supposed to use for like the technical parts, mm -hmm. the technical words for the bike. Like, I look for advice on cycling even today and they're using all these like words for attachments that go on the bike and I'm like you, you have no idea yeah I have that. to google the word and click images and like <laughs> see what it I only learned to repair a puncture like uh, one month ago so wow. like I didn't really knew nothing about bikes and um, I I think yeah, don't be intimidated by all the all the like technical Stuff. jargon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Co don't make it complicated. Make yeah. it as simple as possible. Yeah, yeah. Just go for it. Yeah, right? exactly. And you yeah. can go, just pick a place on a map and uh, and do it. And yeah. you can always like when you're tired and like another thing is like you shouldn't feel that you can't take a bus if you're having a crappy day. Mm. Like I've had times where I've been in like a storm and I've been like screw this I'm like taking a train or a bus um, wow. I try not to but like I'm it's not, okay yeah, yeah like if you're not if you're not you're supposed you're doing it to have a good time like so, you're yeah. not doing it to like torture yourself yeah to torture yourself I mean some yeah. people may, may do but yeah. I personally am doing it to have a good time okay so yeah sweet okay Thank you so much. No for worries. You. Good luck, everyone who's, yeah. who does. Uh, Good luck. Who's planning on a cycle, doing a cycle it's tour. It's our pleasure to have you. In yeah. The channel. Oh yeah. I'm famous Let's now. hope to see you again. Yeah. Sounds future. good. All right. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs>